Yo, welcome, welcome back, everybody. So in today's video, I'm finally gonna be talking about my low end PC uh, OBS streaming uh, recording settings that I use right now, and I've been using for the last few months now, and they've been working. Uh, right now, I am running on a very, very low end PC. It's like a, it's like one of those PCs you'll see at your school, at your library, at your office, local office. You know, people that work at. It's one of these, y'all. It's a it's a Dell Optiplex, you know. It is a Dell Optiplex. It has no capture card. It has a um. I'm gonna go with spec wise here with it. Uh, it has a i5 4570 3.2 gigahertz. Now I do not know what that means. Like I know what it means, but I'm pretty sure that's a that's a really old CPU. That's like a seven eight year old CPU. So if your CPU is better than the one I have. Then you're gonna be you're gonna be just fine, bro. I think you just need a little bit settings change that I'll show, which I'll show you. Um, but if you have something worse than my i5 4570 3.2 gigahertz that I have right now, uh, there is a work a little bit of wor uh work room. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, my PC is running 16 gigabytes of RAM, which I think is huge. I don't know how much how effective that is with streaming though. Uh, but it is pretty pretty big. Uh, I'm not gaming on the PC. I'm just using it for stream. I'm gaming on the PS5. So I think some people kind of, you know, if you have a low end PC, uh, and you're gonna be gaming and streaming on that same PC, it's gonna be, it's not the video for you. Uh, it's not the video for you. You should probably look up like for other videos and stuff like that. Uh, but for the people that are just gonna be streaming from their PC and they're just they're playing on console or yada yada yada, they're playing on another PC and they're just using a dual PC stream setup, which I do recommend if you are gaming and streaming on PC. I do recommend that. Uh, but back to the PC. Um, it also has 512 gigabytes of SSD, which is huge, bro. SSD. I recommend everybody should have SSD in their uh, streaming pc it makes everything so much more faster and it's just so much better you know uh windows 10 pro 64 uh bits or whatever windows 10 whatever yada 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 um now this right here before if you're having any lag issues any uh drop frames in your stream issues just try this one thing bro and i can bet you it it, 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 it might fix your problem so right here you guys see myself right here, right? Bottom left. And then the infinite screens, infinite screens, infinite screens over there, right? I don't know if you guys know, but you could disable this. And when you disable this, the CPU usage on your computer goes down huge. So right now we are getting around 40, what is that? 43.6 uh, CPU usage right now. Well, 49.5. Um, and we're going to right click this and we're going to click enable preview, which is going to disable it. It's going to disable it. So we went up to 49% uh, percent CPU. We just dropped down to 39% CPU, y'all. 37%. So that, uh, that just disabling the screen, it, it helps out your CPU so, so much, bro. It gives it that little bit of more breathing room. It calms down your CPU. And I don't know why. Uh, you know, I, I don't really think every streamer should have this on. Uh, you know, if you have like a great PC, then of course, this is not going to affect it. But on a low end PC, it is, it does affect it. Uh, I never ever have this on whenever I'm playing Warzone or anything because it's just way too much. My stream will start lagging if I do have this on. Uh, let's say you got to see, look at something or whatever. You know, you could do that. Uh, but just, just disable it, bro. Disable your preview and just that one thing. It literally helped out my PC on uh, from dropping frames and all that. I used to do a bunch of setting changes and nothing would work. And then I saw some guy just click boom disabled and it helped out his pc and and and, and it helped out my pc so i, I for y'all that are having lag issues draw frames like i said just try this all right but for the video uh i'm gonna keep this on so it looks like you know regular obs or whatever uh so let's go let's jump let's jump straight into the settings y'all all right so for my settings here i these settings i really don't i never ever touch these settings i'm gonna keep it above with charge the general settings I never ever touch these settings at all. In, in never at all. I think I might have just put the uh oh whoa. I think I just changed the setting by accident. Let me cancel that. Uh, I I think the one thing that I did change was the theme. I put it to dark mode. Oh no, it was already came default, but I have it to dark mode or whatever, right? Uh, but let's get into the real settings now. So stream, I do stream on YouTube. If you stream on Twitch, your thing will be on Twitch or whatever. Uh, I'll put. Now this right here, this is the this is the big stuff, you know. This is the main the main settings. Uh, for streaming, we're gonna go over the streaming settings first. 
uh which i recommend uh going with um uh the if you okay so if you're if you don't have a uh, graphics card if you don't have a gpu then of course the only option is uh x264 uh and then my rescale output which is what you want to stream on is going to be like 1920 by 1080p or uh 720p which i recommend 1080p it just looks so much better right uh but if you pay just you, you can still stream it like i try 720p it does help out your uh your uh, your pc a lot but i don't think you want to be streaming 720p in 2021 you know so you want to try to make the 1080p work and i did make it work uh the rate control i have it to cbr i don't remember I think it's always been like that. Just just have it on CBR. It's the best one. Uh, now my bid rate. Now bid rate is uh how much is if, if you have great internet, uh then you could put this to really whatever. Uh but the highest that I recommend is really six thousand. Anything above that, yeah, on YouTube. Um it might fix up like just a little bit. It will look a little bit more clear, but it will take a lot more uh internet from your internet, if that makes sense, right? Uh so for most people you know just go anywhere from four four thousand four five hundred uh four thousand five hundred to like six thousand you know i don't really recommend anything i used to rock like ten thousand at one point but then i'll start lagging in my game and that was just too much and it wouldn't really make a huge difference uh in terms of quality wise i know on twitch the only way you can get six thousand if you're a partner or something i'm not entirely sure on the twitch side but that's what i've heard uh but just keep it keep it if you have really really low internet uh, then I don't even recommend you streaming at 1080 because you you won't be able to just stream 720p at like 2,000 3,000 bit rate you know, uh. But right now I do rock uh 6,000 bit rate. I do get around 800 megabytes downloaded, download speed and like 25 30 uh upload speed. So that's why I could do 6,000 uh a uh, bit rate. But if you have something like 50 gigabytes download uh five six gigabytes of uh or megabytes my, my bad six megabytes of um of upload then you know i i recommend a lower bit rate you know what i'm saying uh because you don't want your quality to be horrible and then start lagging in the game and yada 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 your stream will disconnect and that's just really really annoying um our cream our our key frame interval uh is always two put it to two two is the best one i don't know why just put two it's the best one two 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 is the best one um i don't really know what the other ones do but i know two is the one that works the best uh ultra now this this is big so i have my thing to ultra which is basically the cpu usage uh the higher equals the less cpu which so 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 depending on your cpu right if you have a really really great cpu you could put this to like medium fast but i've tried everything bro i've tried uh placebo everything up to ultra fast and for my pc bro um ultra fast is the best one this basically means how much cpu usage obs is going to be using from your cpu is it going to be using most of it uh yada 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 you know how much how fast is it going to be running with obs and for my cpu bro since all I'm doing is streaming on OBS. Yeah, I might have like Spotify in the background, but that doesn't really take that much. I need to have this on ultra fast, bro. If I drop this down to super fast, my stream will start choppy, lagging, dropping frames like crazy. I, I, I have to do ultra fast because that's my only option. Like I literally don't have any other option. So if you have the same CPU that I have or a lower CPU, you have to run ultra fast, bro. You absolutely have to run ultra fast or else... You're just not going to have, you know, your your stream is going to be horrible. It's going to be laggy. It's not going to be watchable. Um, let's say you have a better PC than I do, which is the i5-4570. If you have a better CPU than that, uh, then, you, like I said, you could drop this down to super fast, very fast, faster, uh, fast, yada, yada, yada. And if you don't know how to test it on YouTube, I recommend testing it on YouTube because you can make the stream private or unlisted or whatever and then you can watch it from your, your from your phone and then you can see if it's if it's nice there good quality how the quality looks if it's choppy and then you could also use this down here the cpu usage you don't want anything above 50 percent really uh, or anything above 60 because then it's just overworking your cpu like right now we're at 37 percent and which is all right you know it's not the best but it's all right you know it's getting the job done you feel me uh profile you want to have this to high just the best tune 
um i mean but it's just the best profile tone i have it to none i'm gonna be honest i don't even know what this does bro but one time i try to do one of these and it just made my stream horrible so i just keep that keep that joint on none if you know what that does let me know in the comment section down below bro because i have no idea uh oh, of course to also do these settings it was supposed to be a, a, a advanced mode my bad i didn't see that um now recording recording i actually have this to the standard mode type here um so right here we do have a let's see bit rate we have our bit rate to 13 13 000 bit rate for recording which is uh which is a lot so the reason i have this a lot it i don't i don't actually actually not thinking about it i just remember i don't think it does anything when when it's recording um when this is our recording it really doesn't affect it since you're recording you're not like live broadcasting live if that makes sense um so really you could do bit rate to whatever you want when you're recording especially if you're gonna post it on youtube like i don't i, I don't think there's a limitation on bit rate uh, of course you don't want to do like hundred thousand bit rate but like uh, like i think any bit rate i mean the higher the bit rate the better quality your video is going to be uh so i have my joint to thirteen thousand. it works for me it keeps my video quality nice uh hopefully this video quality is nice at 1080p 60 fps uh rate control uh cbr yada 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 uh recording format p4 encoder x264 uh resco output 1080p so we're recording is is lighter on your pc when you record it's not as much strain on your pc if you were uh like streaming uh but one thing just i i recommend y'all boys to not do if you have a very very low npc like my cpu or lower do not record and stream at the same time bro because it would just it, it, it won't be able to do it like it, there will be in some cases where your cpu usage will go over a hundred uh, percent it will fry up your cpu it could destroy your cpu or it will just overheat it and turn off your pc and yada 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 and you don't want to deal with that you know what i'm saying uh and also here cpu usage i have to have it to the highest which is going to be ultra fast same reason like i did with uh the streaming if i have anything below ultra fast it's just going to be choppy not joyable not in, not a uh, watchable um stuff like that same thing with profile just have it to high it's the best to have it to high uh audio audio this is this i, I kept this normal to be honest i don't it, it, it i it really didn't do anything uh replay buffer i actually this dis this disabled this um i think replay buffer is like it automatically starts recording not exactly sure but you want to disable this uh let me know what this does actually because i'm not entirely sure because i always disabled it because i didn't i thought it was gonna you know automatic record so i just disabled that so just keep it disabled it hasn't done anything bad so you know yada 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 um my audio settings i actually i think that's the most that's the important settings there i think that the whole output thing here is the important side um i'll share over my these settings here too my audio settings not to do crazy my desktop audio is my speakers this is my headset this is my mic mic is literally audio you can have like four mics which is crazy uh dk uh you want to have this to fast to fastest meters i guess i mean i think it's always been like that to be honest uh and this i never ever, ever touched this to be honest. i'm gonna keep it a buckle try i never ever touched these settings uh oh video oh yeah, yeah this is the last part my bad my bad my bad now base is gonna be uh base in canvas you want to have it both so if your screen is like 720p then you should just stream at 720p you know if your screen is 1080p like the, the screen that you're watching uh what you're playing on uh you know if it's 1080p you want to keep it at 1080p yada 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 now the downscale filter uh it sucks like actually there's no i can't show you just show y'all the other options but best one is length souls i know there is another one that other people run with but in my experience bro every time that i use anything else but length souls number one my stream is more blurry and number two it'll start getting pixelated more so langsos for me i'm a gamer i play warzone fast-paced game moving around a lot langsos is the best for me bro it has the fastest uh, i mean it has the sharpest scaling 36 samples it has the highest samples out of all of them and it's just the best one for quality wise uh i think this was like a more of a newer filter i'm not exactly sure uh but i know langsos is the best for majority of situations you know what i'm saying um 60 fps you know you, the smoother the smoother the better um 
if your PC, if you have these same settings and you can't, and it's like having bad issues, even with the preview off, then you might have to either lower down the quality to 720p 60 FPS or 1080p 30 FPS, depending on what, what, what game you're playing or what you're doing. You know, if it's something like Call of Duty, then of course you should do 720p uh, 60 FPS since it is a first person shooter game. But if you're doing something like, uh, you know, that, that, that one game or those another game that isn't really high in test in like uh frames then you know i recommend doing 30 fps and 1080p or whatever right uh hotkeys i have no hotkeys i think i have one actually which is to switch scene you know it's just hotkeys and whatever on uh, in general i have my process priority on to high i have it to the highest uh i don't i think i just switched it from normal to high right away i think this means like your your process priority like your cpu not entirely sure. I'm gonna keep it on. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I'm gonna keep it on. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. So with, with some of these settings, I'm not entirely sure. I'm still I'm still a little newbie. Uh, you know. Uh renderer direct 3D eleven. Uh color format, uh and vec twelve. That's the best one for colors. And color space, I'll switch mine to 709 and then color range full. You just get the best colors with those. I fully recommend those. Uh and stuff like that. And then these other ones are just I don't really think they're that anything huge really um uh so yeah y'all i think that's basically it for these obs settings oh my god there's a 16 minute long video it's a long video so we're gonna table our preview let's see how much our cpu goes down so we were at 43 percent and it's gonna go down to 39 it, it goes down something you know it helps out your cpu uh either way y'all, i'm gonna end the video right here let me know if this helped out your uh your pc stream or recording I hope that it really did, bro. I really, really do do hope that it did. Uh, another thing, just have have unnecessary sources off. Like if you have uh, a bunch of sources on while you're not using them, then just turn them off. You know, things like that. Self-explanatory things. Don't have too many sources or uh, don't have too many filters on your on your screen. You know, don't have too don't have no animated things on your screen if you're. Uh, if you're doing that, you know, that that also, you know, reduce your CPU uh, usage and just make your stream lag and all that. So I hope y'all boys enjoyed this video, y'all. My OBS settings, I hope they help. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section down below. I try my best, y'all. I did a few recordings with this video. It did, it, that does just take away. It did take me a while. So uh, let me know what y'all think. Uh, catch you on the comments. And I'm out bro. Peace.